Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for coming back for another video. Today I'm sharing my kickoff to my new year cleaning and I'm starting with the kitchen. Something I've been putting off for so long now, cleaning my cabinets, the upper and lower cabinetry and all of the drawers and a few other random tasks that I decided to include in this video. So I hope you guys like it. Also, happy new year. It's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I've been more active over on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, it'll be linked in the description for you. And I wanna say thank you to everyone that's been patient and understanding with me. It really does mean a lot. Starting off with music as usual, gotta get the vibe going. I was going to start clearing off the countertop so I can remove everything, but then I remembered I had a grocery delivery coming in. So I kind of just stopped for a second and put the groceries away. I have been using Shipt, um, the grocery app since COVID started and I still use it, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back. It's so convenient to not go to the grocery store. I'm using my DIY cleaner that I think I showed you guys in my last cleaning video, but that was so long ago I honestly don't remember. Um, I did make a reel for this over the holiday season, but I don't know if I still want to post that because I'm wearing Christmas PJs and I was using the Iowa Pine Mrs. Meyer soap. Um, I might still post it anyways, we'll see. But I wanted to wipe off the countertops first before placing the clean dishes from the cabinets onto the countertop. And I know how you guys feel about me stepping on the countertops when I'm cleaning the cabinetry, but I honestly, I don't have a choice. I'm too short, I can't reach. So, <laughs> I went back and cleaned them after, no worries. And I'm using a product you guys have never seen me use before, the Method Grapefruit Scent. I don't like anything citrus scented, but this was the only um, cleaner I had that I felt safe using on the inside of the cabinets and the outside. Um, the alcohol-based cleaner that I made, the DIY one, I wouldn't consider that a multi-surface cleaner because I wouldn't use it on cabinets. I'm trying to cover my butt cheeks. <laughs> Didn't mean to moon you guys. So anyway, I really like this cleaner for my countertops and I also really like it in the bathroom. It leaves everything super shiny because of the alcohol. And you guys know I use alcohol to clean glass. So yeah, it works really well. Amir has me tying up balloons, so I'm cleaning, filming, and tying balloons for him on the side. Can you guys believe he's going to be seven this month? When I started, I think he was like one and a half maybe, or two. That is still my baby. Um, he follows me around everywhere, no matter what I'm doing. My spice cabinet and my baking goods cabinet are probably the dirtiest because I cook all the time and bake all the time too. 
Um, I'm also going to wipe down the outside of my spices because sometimes when I'm cooking, I'll just like rinse my hands off, but they may still be a little dirty. So I went in with my DIY cleaner to just wipe them off and disinfect it. things when I'm hurting you always pick me up when I am down it's like you have a spark that leaves me burning you just have your ways to get me high you make all my dreams come true it feels right when I'm around you we could break up and then make up I Come back to you, you move me in a way never thought anyone could you girl I got a lot of cabinets anyway I had to step on the counter fully for these cabinets because they go really far back they're just so deep I wouldn't be able to reach them yeah, the my Tupperware cabinet looks really empty, but that's because some are in the dishwasher or sink and in the fridge that I'm using. Um, I'm realizing how much leftover cabinet space I still have. If you notice, my cabinets aren't like full to the max. I just like to keep things simple now. I remember before I used to have like so much stuff and have to declutter all the time. So I'm proud of myself for not buying unnecessary things. <laughs> This is the cabinet that inspired this video. It's been a hot mess for so long now. I know for sure there's expired medication in here. I have so many supplements. I had to pause my subscription for Ritual and Hum. Even though I love their supplements, I just have so many. Um, I haven't been taking the best care of myself lately, so I'm not taking them as often as I should. So yeah, I'm excited to get this cleaned up and start taking my supplements again. <laughs> So as I was clearing this out, I noticed this cup said my favorite coach and I'm like, oh, whose cup is this? <laughs> 
Then I realized it belonged to the nanny, but she's not a coach and I don't think anyone in her family is a coach. So I thought it was so random. I took a picture and sent it to my girlfriend like, look what I just found in my cabinet. So we're finally done with the upper cabinetry, now moving on to the drawers and then the lower cabinetry. This is like an organized junk drawer, I guess you can say. There's just some random things that I keep in here. Yes, buddy, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So you see it's just like some stationary um, chargers, remotes, more memory cards, my spare keys. And then underneath, this is also kind of random. I just have some kitchen appliances that I don't use very often. And I just put them under here because they fit. So I know this is a cleaning video, but this is real life. I had to stop and make something for my kids to eat. So I just decided to include it because I'm a mom and I have a lot of moms that follow me. I'm literally multitasking throughout this whole video. So I'm making some muffins. I've never used this one before. So I was a little bit confused by the blueberries inside. I had a lot of um, syrup on the inside. So I went ahead and strained that off because I didn't want the muffins to turn out purple. And my son looked at me crazy like these are not blueberry muffins. <laughs> I also do have fish sticks in the air fryer and yeah, I do cook all the time for my kids But when I'm super busy, I am NOT opposed to using frozen food
story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Uh, they try to bring the sucker down, singing louder than the crowd. So now I'm going to offload the dishwasher and then load it back up. I'm also going to wipe off the countertops on this side, take the muffins out of the oven, and then um, I'm going to continue with the lower cabinetries and drawers. I also decided to wipe off the backsplash because even though you can't see it from here, there's like splatters from cooking and whatever else. So I'm just wiping that off and the DIY cleaner actually did a really good job on that. This is where I keep the kids' lunch boxes and water bottles. They have so many lunch bags because sometimes they get lost at school and then we have to go buy one last minute. Some comes from their dad's house and I happen to have like 10 of them right now. Also, um, we do have a few bento boxes. One is for hot food and the other one has an, uh, what is it called? An ice tray, not an ice tray a nice pack that's built in so one for hot one for cold and then i have just the regular ones um for snacks And you'll notice I don't have as many pots and pans anymore. I bought this caraway cooking set last year for myself for Christmas and it's been the best investment. I absolutely love these pots and pans. They're the best. I also want the baking set. Y'all know Candice, my bestie. She got the baking set and since then I'm like, should I get it or should I not? Because I already have baking stuff. It's not really like I need it, but I want it. The other cabinet doesn't really have much. I only kept a few pieces. The rest of them I donated. As a feather
in this cabinet is where I keep all of my baking necessities, but I also have extra um, storage containers and things like that. It's kind of random, but it is what it is. Uh, you guys remember those containers that I bought for the fruit when I was living at the old house? For some reason, when I purchased another set, the sizing was off. So now they're all discombobulated. So I'm glad that I'm finally getting a chance to put them in their places where they belong. But I think I have two trays that don't have an actual storage bin. So I'm gonna have to look through the fridge and see if something is off. I'm not really sure, but finally getting it put together and the ones that don't fit or don't have a lid or something like that, I'm just gonna recycle. I'm just quickly wiping off the dishwasher with my DIY cleaning spray and I'm gonna start on the under the sink cabinet where I keep my cleaning supplies. I have a ton under here. It looks like a lot, but I honestly don't use all of these. I should probably declutter or put some into the laundry room. Also, the reason why I didn't do the oven in this video is because it's hot because I made the muffins, but I might put that in an Instagram reel for you guys. You know what, actually, yeah, I'm gonna do the oven cleaning and probably the fridge and organization in an Instagram reel. In this cabinet, I keep most of my fresh products and some uh, trash bags. I also have like orchid stuff under here too. It's kind of random, but yeah, uh, I normally keep my hand towels under here too, but they're all washing. I have a ton of laundry on my couch that I have to put away. I'm thinking about doing a laundry routine video, like just focus on laundry because I have so much, even though I did a ton before the new year, it it's never ending. But yeah, the, um, drawer on top is where i normally keep my cleaning cloths but while i'm filming this video i did have to stop once to put my cleaning cloths in the wash i do have a lot of them but i still like to wash in between just so i don't run out Just a few more things that I want to get done before I start making dinner. I'm removing all of these um, anatomy magnets that I got for the kids for Christmas. And then I'm going to clean off my Keurig because we made a ton of hot chocolate over the Christmas break. And I also wanted to straighten up the pantry a little bit. And then lastly, the microwave. Just kidding. I have to hand wash a few things and then clean my sink.
both of my soap dispensers were empty and I ran out of Dawn so I'm just filling them up with um, this leftover whole food soap that I had and I'm really low on hand soap so I just put in whatever I had left. I'm also taking down the Christmas decor that was in the kitchen. I really didn't do much decor this year. I only put my decor out like a week before Christmas. Our Christmas tree was up for like a month, but it's the same decor from last year. You guys did not miss anything. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all in the next one.